Okay, so this is, video is going to be about the Cordova Dialogues plugin. Now this is one that lets you do alert, confirm, and prompt. All three methods are built into the window object in the browser. You can call window.alert, window.confirm, window.prompt. The difference between that and the plugin is the plugin actually lets you talk to the native capabilities of the device. So you're tying into the notification system for alerts, prompts, and confirms for Android and for iOS. And that means that you can have a callback function that runs, and it also means that you can display a title or custom buttons. So in this application that I've got built here, there's three paragraphs and all three of them I've added a click listener just to demonstrate the alert, confirm, and prompt. So on the alert one, when I click on it, come over here, I get this is the alert dialog and I've got a custom title and a custom button. Click on that and then just to show that the function is running my callback function, I'm setting the background color to gold. For this one, I've got confirmation where I can put a couple of buttons. I click on that. There we go. So two custom buttons. When I click on either one of these, I get the callback. There we go. And I'm able to display which of the buttons the person clicked on. For the prompt, same thing. There's buttons and then there's also labels. There we go, like that. All right, so let's take a look at the code and see how this is working. Uh, in my ready function, I've just got the click listeners for the three paragraphs and I'm calling the separate functions. So let's take a look at those. The alert function. Okay, navigator notification.alert. This is the message that we're going to display. So this is the main text that the person's going to read. Setting the background color of my paragraph to gold. Nothing really uh, substantial there. That's just changing the color here. Uh, then that is being done inside of the callback function. So the first one is the text. That's what you would get with window.alert. Then the callback function. You can do anything that you want inside of this callback function. It's just an opportunity for you to run code after the person has clicked on the button. Your custom title and then the label for your button. And again, this can be any string that you want. For the confirm, same sort of idea. Navigator notification confirm. The first parameter is the same as it would be for the window.confirm. Just a string. Then we get a callback function. The callback function is going to get a number. Now I'm just using this variable name. It doesn't have to be this name. It can be any string whatsoever. It's a variable name which is going to contain the numbers 0, 1, or 2, or 3. This is my array of buttons. So we create an array of buttons. This will be number one, this will be number two for the values. It's also possible to get a zero. So if the person canceled the pop-up dialog some other way, clicking the home button or in the dialog itself, there's a close button on the Android side. If they cancel it, then you get a zero. So I'm writing out, you clicked, buttons is my array from right here. I'm taking that number and I'm subtracting one because in my array, this is number zero, this is number one. But the response index, this variable right here, is going to think of this as one instead of zero and two instead of one. So I have to subtract the one to get the appropriate label. The last two parameters, same as above here, a custom title, and then instead of just a label, it is an array of buttons. For the prompt, very much like the confirm, we get an array. We call the prompt method we have a string to display, and then there's a response object. This object has two properties. One of them, and it is called button index, the other one called input one. This is what the person wrote, and the button index is the number. So zero, one, or two. So we can have buttons sub, right here, buttons is my object, buttons, and then inside of here, I would do response.buttonindex minus one. And that would get me the number, or the label rather, confirm or cancel. Response.input one, that is what the person wrote. And then the last buttons down here are the last parameters. There's the custom title, the array of buttons. And we also have here the default text to display inside the prompt when the prompt appears. This can be an empty string. You can leave it off. It's optional. 
but you do have an opportunity to put something inside of there for the person to edit instead of having to type out the whole thing. Okay, so that is the prompt, confirm, and alert. The three methods that make up the Dialogues plugin, Cordova plugin Dialogues, is what you would install in your Cordova project. Here's the references, and this is the link to the page where if I open that up, here we are. This is it right here. Okay, so I hope that helps you out. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Um, I will leave this JavaScript as a code gist in the description. And as always, thanks for watching.